Welcome to Lyle Training Series. Copier Handling. Topics. Supplies. Receiving. Paperwork. Preparation. Loading. Delivery. Quiz. Supplies. It is recommended to bring per copier six corner boards, one roll of stretch wrap, five clean moving blankets, two rubber bands, and at least two plastic large trash bags. Receiving. Verifying you have the correct machine is very important. Verify each make, model, and serial number. The make and model number should match the information fastened to the copier. The serial number should be verified digit by digit to the serial number indicated on the paperwork. In situations where multiple copiers are being picked up, a summary sheet will also have the make, model, and serial numbers to all the machines you should be receiving. Once the identification of the machine has been verified, inspect the machine for cracks, chips, or other visible defects. In the event a minor blemish or major defect is found, indicate the damage on the visual inventory supplement which we will cover in the next section. Many times a copier is shipped with a sorter or finisher attachment. These items need to be verified and also inspected just like the copier. Paperwork. When reviewing paperwork, identify the contract number, place of origin, destination, and the description of each piece that you'll be picking up. Write in your time of arrival, and don't forget your departure time when you're ready to leave, and then into your piece count. On the labels, neatly write in the contract number, piece count, and then the destination city. Do, do this for each piece on the order. Remove the lower or smaller barcode and place it on the inventory sheet. The larger label will go on top of the machine. Make sure you place each barcode label for each piece you inventory on the paperwork. Next, complete the header with the origin information including the company name, the address, and the contract number. For the condition of the machine, either write in use copier or new copier, and then the same with the finisher, either use finisher or new finisher. The visual inventory supplement is the form where the defects can be indicated. Fill in the contract number, make of the copier, model number and serial number, and then indicate the type of packaging that is being used. In this example, we are using plastic wrap. Since this is a pickup, we would make any notes on the origin side of the paperwork. Read the key provided and mark the appropriate picture according to the appropriate defect. Once this is done, sign and date the operator box and then have the shipping agent sign the lower box. If no defects are visible, write no defects on the paperwork. Preparation for transportation. Step one is to wrap the machine for protection. Many times the copier will already be wrapped with one layer. If this is so, then adding the corner boards is the second step. The third step is covering the copier with a plastic trash bag. This step protects the copier from elements that may fall on top of the copier during the move. 
keep in mind the wrap is to be put on loose. It is merely to protect the copier. Stretching the film tight could crack some of the plastic parts of the machine. Step 4. Handwrite the serial number and either one of one or one of two on the stretch wrap for quick visibility. Step 5. Place the STI sticker on top of the machine. Step 6. Drape a clean blanket over the top of the machine and secure with a rubber band. The machine is now ready to load. Let's do a quick review using the finisher for the copier we just prepared. 1. If not already there, add one layer of shrink wrap before adding the corner boards. 2. Add the corner boards. 3. Cover with a bag. 4. Handwrite the information. 5. Add the sticker. 6. Cover with the blanket and secure with a rubber band. There may be times when you are moving a copier that was recently being used. In these cases, it is important to remove all trays, finishers, and sorters to prepare for transportation. Be sure to keep the hardware in place so it doesn't come up missing. Each piece, from the service tray to the power cord, should be individually wrapped to protect them and allow them to be easily identified. Here is where step one will be used the most. Loosely wrap the machine for protection. Be sure the base is completely covered. When adding the corner boards, be sure to raise them off the ground to avoid dragging them. Make sure the corner boards are secure. Because this copier is an office to office same day move, steps 3, 4, and 5 do not apply. Simply move to step 6, covering the machine with a blanket and secure with a rubber band. Loading When loading a copier from a dock, be aware of the chosen path. Copier wheels should be lifted over holes in the plate and as well as places where the dock plate doesn't quite meet up with the truck bed. When loading onto a lift gate, again lift the copier wheels onto the platform. Copier wheels are not meant for rough surfaces. Copiers traveling distances on asphalt or concrete should be placed on a dolly to avoid damaging the wheels. Once the copier is on the truck, place blankets folded in half on each of the four sides of the copier. Spending five minutes to over pad a $5,000 plus piece of equipment is not a waste of time. When securing a copier in the truck, only use hand tightening logistical straps. Never use ratchet style logistical straps. Placement of the strap is also crucial to the safety of the machine. Do not allow space between the lock and the machine. This will have a tendency to allow movement of the machine causing the strap to loosen. Locate your first lock in place. Then Snuggle the machine next to it. Place the second lock as close to the machine as safely as possible. Hand tighten. Always use two straps per machine to ensure the machine is secure should one strap come loose. Delivery. When you arrive to your destination, uncover the machine fold your blankets and roll up your logistical straps. Carefully roll the copier out and make sure the receiving agent inspects the machine thoroughly. The job is almost done so do not rush this part. 
If the machine is in good condition, make sure the agent notes this on the paperwork and signs in all the necessary locations. Quiz Question 1 What is step 1 to prep for transport? Question number two. When doing a local move, what should be done with loose pieces? Question number three. Besides six corner boards and one roll of stretch wrap, what are the other three items needed per copier? Question four. What specifically should be written on each piece of equipment after it has been wrapped? Question number five. When is the only time the copier does not need to be covered with a plastic bag? Question number six. Which style of logistical strap should never be used? Question number seven. How many straps should be used per copier? Question number eight. What two things should be done before unloading the copier? Question number nine. What is at least one obstacle that should be avoided when loading a copier? Question 10. What are the three things that identify a copier? Bonus question 11. You will have 60 seconds to list in order all six steps to preparing for transportation. Ready? Go.
Answers. Question 1. What is step 1 to prep for transport? Wrap the machine from top to bottom with a loose layer of stretch wrap. Question number 2. When doing a local move, what should be done with loose pieces? Each piece, from the service tray to the power cord, should be individually wrapped to protect them and allow them to be easily identified. Question number three. Besides six corner boards and one roll of stretch wrap, what are the other three items needed per copier? Five clean moving blankets, two rubber bands, and at least two plastic large trash bags. Question four. What specifically should be written on each piece of equipment? Handwrite the serial number and either one of one or one of two on the stretch wrap for quick visibility. Question number five. When is the only time the copier does not need to be covered with a plastic bag? Only during a local or internal move can you skip steps three, four, and five. Question number six. Which style of logistical strap should never be used? Only use hand tightening logistical straps. Never use ratchet style logistical straps. Question number seven. How many straps should be used per copier? Always use two straps per machine to ensure the machine is secure should one strap come loose. Question number eight. What two things should be done before unloading the copier? Fold your blankets and roll up your logistical straps. Question number nine. What is at least one obstacle that should be avoided when loading a copier? One answer is to lift over holes in the dock plate and the other answer is where the dock plate does not quite meet up with the truck bed. Question 10. What are the three things that identify a copier? Verify each make, model, and serial number. Bonus question 11. The list in order all six steps to preparing for transportation. One, if not already there, add one layer of shrink wrap before adding the corner boards. Two, Add the corner boards. Three, cover with a bag. Four, handwrite the information. Five, add the sticker. Six, cover with the blanket and secure with a rubber band. Copier moving is a very important part of the many specialties Lyle focuses on. Every copier is the most important piece of machinery you will ever touch on behalf of Lyle. Follow these steps to the letter every time and you will avoid unnecessary damage and miss shipping of wrong copiers. No mistakes is not just a Lyle goal, but it is achieved when our representatives know exactly what they are doing 
and how it should be done every time.